Hey guys, it's your mate Aris Tao, a portrait and wedding photographer Hello, in Sydney, Melbourne. Today, I'm going to share some tips how to shoot tarot images to wow your couple and to attract more clients. I specifically choose ordinary, everyday city locations and a heavy way. A walk at a nice scale. To illustrate how to create wow images from any ordinary environment and help you to separate yourself from all the photographers next door when you are all shooting at the same locations. As wedding photographers, we don't always have the luxury to shoot at an ideal location at the ideal time. During a wedding, I may only have a busy street that I can work with. This image was taken only using natural light. It isn't bad, but it's definitely not amazing. The sky in the background is overexposed, and the stray background is too busy. So let's create an amazing image from this ordinary environment. Underexpose the image to retain the highlight. By getting down low and shooting upward, I can use the dress to block the distractions in the background. Ask an assistant, this could also be the groom or bridesmaid, to wave the dress around in order to completely block the distractions. Once you're happy with your composition, add the wow factor, an 8200 Pro Light. Using the round head and just bare bulb, we were able to create a beautiful dramatic image with no rubbish bins around. I use IAF so that I can place the camera on the ground to have an extremely low angle without having to look into the viewfinder. Customer would love this image. I would stop right here if I only have 5 minutes to shoot. If I have more time to shoot, I would take out a collapsible softbox and mount it on S-type bracket. The parabolic softbox will output a fashion look light, directional yet soft, a bit similar to a beauty dish. Notice how the harsh shadows lines on her dress and right arm are all disappeared. <laughs> Every wedding photographer must have shot in front of wall at the weddings. It could be brick, wood, antique, in this case, modern. It's an interesting wall, but unfortunately, due to the time of the day that we arrived, it was looking a bit flat. So I decided to underexpose the scene, also tone down the color balance to 5000K to create a blue hour look. I asked the groom to hold an 8200 Pro bare bulb to shoot at the wall to create the separation between him and the wall. But I found the light was too harsh due to the distance between him and the wall was too close. So I added doom on the flash to make the light evenly and further spread on the wall. I then add a blue gel on the light to make the color palette pop more. The Godox AKR1 kit is designed for AD200 round head and the V1. It comes with really nice color gels. But since I shoot a lot with AD400 and AD600, I just use the bigger color gels which fits all my lights. Since AKR1 is magnetic, I find it's quite convenient as a gel holder as well. Then I use another 8200 Pro to lead up the bride. The problem was the light was spreading all over the wall and the ground, which destroyed the romantic look I aim for. So I tripled the grades to narrow the light beam to focus on the bright awning. The image looks quite good already. I add an orange gel on the grate so that we have the orange light for the bride vs the blue light for the groom. In such way, we create a scene with a complementary color palette. By using a similar two light setup without orange gel, I slow down my shutter at 1 over 20 seconds to motion blur the bicycle in the foreground to create a point of interest. The flash and in camera stabilization help a lot to freeze the couple so that I can capture the scene without a tripod. The light has gone, and like most wedding receptions, there isn't a lot of light to work with. As usual, I start with ambient light and realize that the bride's face is too dark. So I then bounce an on-camera V1 against the wall as a quick solution if we only have 60 seconds to get a shot done. 
Then plan B. If I have ten minutes to do the shoot, I would use the off-camera flash. Realizing the light is too flat, I added a parabolic softbox and placed the light 45 degree on the camera right. Ooh la la! A bridal portrait is completed. And then the couple shot. If I keep the light where it was, the girl's face would be completely under shadow. So I placed the light right above the couple's head to mimic a street lamp, which lights up both of their faces. After that, I decide to try something crazy by adding double green gel to the light. With custom white balance, the couple's skin tone is kept about the same. The background color will be added in a lot of magentas, which is the opposite side of the green. Mixed with the original yellowish bokeh, the white balance, and the whole scene turns into romantic warm golden red color. Then the final step is emotion. I want to capture a genuine moment so that I ask my couple to keep on interacting with each other with silly jokes. Thanks to IAF plus flash, even when they are constantly moving, the couple is perfectly sharp. Even when I'm wide open at f1.4 at 150 second, natural light itself can be beautiful. But with a cup of light in your bag. Isn't that awesome to create your own unique signature images to wow your clients and to distinguish yourself from everyone else?